It's the Dragon Metro with Mo Flavor and Master Chavandovu. And of course, you Friday afternoon vibes. It's John Legend with Tonight. I don't know if it's because there is a certain mini Jones in the studio that a song <laughs> like this just randomly plays on a Friday. I thought this was for me though. Oh, it's fitting. Well, I, yeah, fine. Also, Let's it's fine. Share. Well, Let's share. Let's share. Sharing is caring. Shout out, shout out to all of the married women out there. <laughs> <laughs> so, Being Mrs. Jones is a show. You can call it a reality show, but Mini is calling it something else. Right? Yeah, it's a docu-series. Sure. Um, it does have a lot of reality moments in, and I think what I wanted to do is I didn't want to alienate our audience. Like, I wanted people to be able to see certain moments happen authentically and organically, but it is very stylized. So if you're expecting a linear reality show that you've seen where it's just following someone around, you're not really going to mm -hmm. see that. Mm -hmm. so, so people are going to get better quality in terms of what, what you're putting out versus what's currently on TV yeah. now. I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say better. All I'm saying is that it's different. And I think that's very important to understand is that also different genres mean different things. And mm -hmm. there are some great shows that are out there and they're on the format, they're on the reality and they're doing and that. And there are also some not so great shows. And there are, and that's true. For me, though... And you're going to put them to shame. I'm not saying <laughs> stop that. It, stop, stop it. it. In no. a nutshell. For those who don't understand it's just a the different difference genre. between a reality series and a documentary um, series, could you just break that down briefly for us. So basically, in a reality series, you're sort of following the day-to-day -day life of someone, different things that they do, the different events in a, in a certain period of time, um, or just in their lives at that moment. For me, what I've done is that I've told a story mm. from the planning of my wedding down to the actual final wedding. So there's a clear beginning, There's a beginning, and middle, and end. Gotcha. That's why it's in three parts. Yeah. Um, and the beginning really starts from the beginning. So today, you really get to see me from infancy all the way to becoming a Mrs. bride Jones. and Mrs. Jones. Sure. And, and that's what the show is about. It's not me running to the mall. It's not Drinking me coming champagne. to work. <laughs> are, there, are there any scenes where you do drink champagne, darling? Champagne. <laughs> My bachelorette. <laughs> My bachelorette was in champagne. Oh, all right. Yeah, That's so fresh, we fresh. went. Wow. Yeah, we went with the we were at the house of Mum. It was incredibly beautiful with my girls. I can't wait for you to see that. It got really spicy. I'm sorry to move from champagne to kids, but you know, obviously, when you get married, <laughs> um, th there's sort of a, an expectation. Yeah. That there must be bambinos somewhere. So are there going to be any juniors coming? Well, you know, anytime soon. I mean, I. I, I don't know how you guys have sussed that up with Mr. Jones. I don't know. I hope to have kids in the future. Uh -huh. I'm very excited to start a family. Uh -huh. But um, I don't know. I'm just going to take it one day, one at, day a at a time. You know, I think right now, can I just enjoy being married? You oh, know? yeah. I have a question. How did you know he was the one? Um, I hate the cliche saying, but it just hits you one day when you realize that with all the craziness and the messiness of the world, this is the one person who calms you, who grounds you, and allows you to be the most you, you. So I that's when that. I knew. Like, it, it was just a point where, it, it was a time where I was like, ah, whether we get married or whether we don't, I want to be with you always. I get you. Fantastic. And, and that's where we were. So Becoming Mrs. Jones is not a reality show, it's a fairy tale wedding. What time is it on? <laughs> Which channel is it on? And what can we expect apart from champagne, darling? You champagne. can get it tonight on Vuzu Amp channel 103 at 7.30pm. Um, it's deeply personal, it's very, very special, it's very close to my heart. And I'm very nervous that you guys are going to be seeing the side of me, but I'm also really, really excited to, to put on something that could... Um, just inspire, inspire television, and, and that's what I'm hoping for, is that I just want you to get out there and say, let's start doing some really cool stuff. Well, I'm excited about the fact that you came here to have this moment with us. Uh, it's Yay! such a big occasion, so thank you very much for, for doing that, and uh, we wish you all the best of luck with the marriage, with the show, and everything else. I mean, we'll always catch up with you with regards always. to other things. I mean, we know you, you, you're an extremely talented human being. Thank you. But for now, it's about, it's about you know, that special moment, so good luck. Thank you so much, and thank you so much for having me on the show. Hope you guys enjoy the show tonight, and I can't wait to see you guys again.